and we're on part 11. So, let's go. We have a lot to do in this tutorial. Open the folder, make a new file, <laughs> called explosion.lua. Open main.lua. There we go. Now we're ready. Uh, let's remove this. Um, let's require the new file that we made. Explosion.lua. Uh, yes. We're also gonna add a new system for drawing in entities. So open entities.lua. I have to do this uh, kind of fast because there's so much code to be done. Um, entities.lua and what we're going to do is add a new uh, option or a new value to all the entities that tells if they're in the background or not behind the scenery as you might say. So a new argument to entities and since we've already been making lots of entities and don't want to edit that old code and add a new argument to all those, if not background, then background equals false. So we don't get a nil value on the BG if you forget to add it or don't bother to add it. So ent BG equals BG. Another thing that I mistakenly, mistakenly if that's a word, did in the last tutorials, this should be ID. That should also be ID. Now you know. Uh, I think that's done for now. Uh, yes, and yes. And we're gonna add something here to our shoot function. Uh, when we shoot the Zeppelin, it's going to fall. I guess we'll add HP in the next tutorial, since we don't have time for it in this one. Here we go, back to the folder, control S, X, open entities zep.lua. Let's add a new value here too, two of them actually, self.ang, that's going to be the angle of the zeppelin, so it will turn down when it's falling. And self falling should be false. It should not start falling. That would be silly. Uh, I'll go to update the update function in the sep file and do if self falling. If that's true, then self fixed y the fixed y position equals self fixed uh, y plus 32 units per second. So it's gonna fall by 32 units per second. Self ang is also going to be self ang plus math dot pi. Pi is half a circle times oops 0 0.025. That's just a value to slow it down a little times seconds. If self y is larger or equal to 300, then remember the ends the codes start bg explosion that's going to be a well a function we're gonna add uh, very soon self dot x plus 512 just bear with me guys self size divided by 20 this is basic math if you look through the code <laughs> you'll understand why i do this <laughs> uh, i'll explain it to you uh, i'm not gonna be a douche size slash 20 uh, and comma 1 um, this function needs an exposition which you'll see that we're gonna make that will be the self uh, the position of the zeppelin plus the size of the image half of the size of the image times the scale of the zeppelin same with the y position and the magnitude of the explosion will be 1 that's just a value to tell how f how big the explosion should be, and one is the default size. Following equals one, no false. <laughs> and dot destroy. 
self ID. So when it falls down to the ground, we should make an explosion. He should not be falling anymore and destroy itself. Uh, also, since we're gonna make new zeppelins, they should start in the background. Let's just remember that uh, that's going to be true. Silly me! Uh, we also need to add the angle to the zeppelin here, where we had zero before. And I think that's it for this uh, file. If I'm not mistaken, no, I don't think so. So let's exit that. Let's open the explosion.lua and make those functions. Uh, explosion.lua. Uh, local. This is going to be very much like the entity system. So let's go through that again. Why not? Explosions equals a table or a list or whatever. Uh, local image equals love graphics new image. And this is the image I have right over here which looks like this oops like a big darn explosion I'm going to shut down yeah a large explosion so you can download that in the description under the video um, drop that in the textures folder whoop did bloody do yeah let's uh, Let's include it right here. The path. Textures, explosion. I don't know if I've written that correctly. Don't mock me, man. Function. And here's the function that we, uh, we wrote in the entities file. X, Y, and magnitude. So, we're going to add a, a value to the table BG explosions this table which is going to be another table a nested table x equals x y equals y magnitude equals magnitude and um, oh what was the next thing time of course t equals zero because when we start it we want the time to be zero uh, yeah the lifetime can if you can say so function draw background explosions parentheses for x and for k x in pairs the explosions do and local sx equals parentheses x dot t the time that the uh, explosion has been going on uh, divided by four times x magnitude so divi time divided by the yeah, basically the size of the of the whole thing. The same with SY, so we'll just copy pasta the whole thing. The reason why I'm doing this is because uh, we might want to edit this explosion, or you might want to edit the explosion and the size and everything, how it evolves and stuff like that. So that's why I copy pasta this. Set color. 255, 255, 255, 255 times uh, this exact thing. Oops, there we go. Uh, yes, because uh, the time will be the magnitude of the explosion. So when the explosion is done and has reached its, its uh, final size, this will return 1. Uh, and that makes me remember that we need to subtract it from one, so the color will fade out as the explosion goes on. This will look really cool, guys! Uh, local SSX equals 0 0.5 plus SX divided by 2. And local SSY equals SY. Go ahead and edit that if you want. For awesome reasons. Love graphics draw image ex.x minus 256 times ssx times 0 0.5. So uh, the size, uh, the position of the explosion minus half of the size of the, no, the whole size of the explosions times 
the scale of the explosion divided by 2 or times 0 0.5 xy minus t uh, the size of the image downwards or the yeah the side of it as we go as it evolves the angle should be zero for obvious reasons ss x ss y zero and uh, zero yeah uh, <laughs> then we need a, a shock wave don't you think graphic set color uh, this whole thing actually but this time a little lighter all the way uh, yes a little lighter all the way and then love graphics circle it's going to fill the circle the X position is going to be the X position of the explosion and the Y position is going to be the white position of the explosion. Uh, the size, the final size of this shockwave is going to be outside the screen, thus we make it really large, 2024. Let's make it 48 so we get the best bit system, there we go. X dot T, uh, that's actually the same thing as, as here. So let's do that. Hoppla. Uh, comma. 32. The last thing here is the segment, the segments of the of the circle. So if you have uh, um, ooh, four segments, I guess that makes a square. Five segments makes a five uh, five edged shape, six six ed six edged shape, and so on. And we have the ends. Function update BG explosions DT. Go ahead and print. Need to stop here. Uh, never mind. We're not gonna print. 4K X in pairs BG explosions. Let's just copy paste that so it goes faster. Hope it does at least. X T equals X. T oh, plus DT the delta time, so the time will add. It will always add the the time going to the x time. If x time is larger than the size of the explosion, then oh, and and then and then table dot remove bg explosions k so it will remove the explosion from the table when it has completed its explosiveness Whew. yeah that's done uh, what more what more I guess we need to make this function uh, ma make the functions run somehow so draw explosions should be in the love dot draw function in main dot lua right before the ground so right after the image cloud draw function same with in entities lua the um, oh yeah we haven't made that function yet uh, we're basically gonna copy paste ents.draw in entities.lua and make it uh, a function ents draw background oops background and before anything, if ent bg, then draw it as a background. And up here we do this instead. If not, if it's not the background entity that we set here, then do not draw uh, draw it in the normal draw function. Instead, draw it in the background function, which will draw anything before. Uh, right to right after the background explosions, but before the ground. So paste that function name in love.draw. Okay. Uh, what more? What more? Main. 
Yes, we need to make true here so the zeppelins become background uh, entities. And let's make them a little more. Let's make three. Three zeppelins to have fun with. Uh, we need to update the explosion, so go to explosions.lua, copy paste this function, function name, right after the ends. Uh, actually, I want to have it before the entities. <sighs> Just for tidiness, if that's a name. Uh, word. A meme. Okay. Zeppelin should be done. Entities.lua and explosions.lua. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, the zeppelins are peaceful. Let's shoot one of them. Damn it! Attempt to call method fall. Yes, of course. Let's open entities zeppelin.lua. Here we go. Uh, we did not make the fall function that I said we should have done, so fall. Oops. Fall. When we call for the fall function from another function. Then let's make self falling equals true instead of false. Okay, let's see how it turns out now. Play dot bot. Shoot! Oh, it's falling, it's falling! But will it ex explode? Yes! It exploded! Looks awesome, eh? Let's make all of them explode at the same time. <laughs> I just love that effect. God damn it. Yeah, we should make uh, sound effects too, right? But uh, in the next tutorial, let's make them have some HP so they can deal. They can deal some damage and not just kill them instantly. Like triple kill. No, it was double kill. Damn it, I wanted triple kill. Well, well, see you in the next part. Explosions.